hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 10. Thread, a uni thread, A0 in black. Now, I did use a, there was a variant of it where I used the chartreuse. But uh, this is the original one, so just take your thread down, full length of the, the shank, and then remove the base piece. I've got a medium chartreuse holographic tinsel. I'm going to scratch this on the side, take it down, and then come back up. Now, I'm just going to form round about, you probably get about three turns or so to form the tag, and then across your thread, tighten up. Trim this away. Now get some rear varnish or whatever. I'm just going to use some resin, UV resin. Tiny drop on the top. Off it. Just spread it all the way around and then get your torch and come in and set it. Just pull it to it top and bottom all the way around. Doesn't take long to do so. There we are. The tail, now I've got a chartreuse cock cape here. Uh, this is a Chinese cock cape and a single feather I'm looking for. And you could use bronze mallard on the tail of this if you want it, but uh, for the rainbows especially I use the chartreuse fibres. Now what I'm doing here is bring them 90 degrees from the stem and then turn them away. Just get enough fibres to form the tail. Length of the tail, you're looking length of the body. Just over the back. Two or three turns to hold. And then trim away the, the waist, but trim at the full length of the body. Now what I do here is wax my thread. And then carry on all the way up. Tying these in. Now I'm going to tie in a UV micro straggle. And this is a chartreuse one. It's UV and silver. You can use a plain UV, or as in this case, obviously the silver version. Uh, it's a great V fritz to use. Now, yeah, I'm going to actually use this for the the body and the rib of this fly to speed up the tying. It's it's a very easy way to tie um, basically materials on and give them and a body and rib everything at the same time. Now. I do tie this on salmon flies as a a version of a space style fly where I've used it, and it's, it's more. This is always for salmon fly, uh, salmon fishing. It's very easy to tie. This has got the gold through it. It's the same chartreuse, but it's got the gold flex through it. It's again you got to your imagination. I have a, a couple of other bigger flies here that may be interesting. There's again a space style one. Again. Um, it's got the the UV, it's actually tied the same way as this. So it's, it's up to your imagination what you do. Now the hackle, depending on how long the fibre you want. I just want sort of basic length in this. And I'm using a Chinese cock feather, dyed black. Just going to remove the fluff from the bottom. And catch it in at the top, once I take the thread up. Just catch it in. Thread back up. Now you need around about a good mill and a, 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 say a mill and a half anyway from the eye down. Then first couple of turns I like to pin at the top and then I work my way down. You don't need a many turns, that's three turns, there's four, into my fourth turn. Just imagine that being a rib, bring it across your, your hackle. Just check where it's starting, it looks okay. And then Ignore the hackle fibres, just, oh, don't do that, just make sure it's tight, that's fine. Just ignore the hackle fibres as I said and work it, just take your micro straggle all the way up. Now at this point here, I don't want to trap in too much, so I bring it up and bring it through the side of the fly, just bring it through there, I draw the fibres through, and then I'm going to catch it with the thread, it's hard to show you, but basically what I do is bring this through nice and tight, put my nail on the side of the fritz to hold it, 
come round with three or four turns of the thread and that's caught it and then trim away the waste tidy up I'm just going to show you, I'm going to turn this round so you can see and you'll see where I've basically brought it, brought it through the side of the hackle there and kept the hackle and then you can, well the hackle fibres anyway you can break away the tip get your, in this case I'm going to get a velcro here on a lollipop stick to catch or pull out any of the hackle fibres I may have caught just pull it through I'm just roughing it up as they say, bringing out the flash as well if you look how it's sitting, no, that's fine now this is more a, a lure than a well basically a, a dabbler but it's a kind of mix between the two now I've got a bronze mallard feather the a nice large one here taking away the fluff at the bottom now I'm going to form a collar or a collar of bronze mallard round the hook so I'm bringing the fibres out so the tips are lining up see once they've lined up like there I hold them and tear it away from the feather lay the feather down and then basically what I'm going to do here is you can roll it round which I can do or the easiest way is to actually sit it on the top of the hook into the centre of the fibres you don't want it full length, you don't want it say halfway into the tail anyway then fold it round, roll it with your fingers or hold it round the, the shank of the hook and then come round with a couple of loose turns a thread and then tighten up with a couple more and let it go and you'll find that you've formed a nice like a you could call it a false hackle or a nice cloaked version of the bronze mallard and then take away the excess, just trim that away and that's fine now that's a good fly in itself now when you tidy up here, just going to wax my thread there you go and you see it's sitting nice and proud so it's looking okay and then I'm going to get my bronze mallard feather again now you don't need a lot here to give the impression of a wing and that's what I'm going to give here is an impression of a wing there you are, that's about a centimetre in, in width and I've just again lined up, got the tips lined up tear it away from the, the feather the length of the wing, just slightly longer Not as you could go as long as the, the end of the tail but I just want it slightly shorter when you fold this round I want to keep these fibres on the top of the shank don't want them rolling round like I did before and a nice tight pinching loop on top and that should give you an impression of a wing there we are. That, that's good, that's fine. Don't have to be too fussy with it. And then you can trim this away, the excess. Again, a tiny bit of wax. Tidy up and bring the thread to the eye and pull it away from the eye up into these cut ends. There we are. Again, that's a nice fly in itself. Just remember, when you're gonna when you're fishing this fly it'll draw it'll come together nice a nice shape. Now what I'm going to do here is just to glitz it up a wee bit I'll get some dyed jungle cotton. and this is dyed as you can see a lime green. I've got two eyes and remove, I'll just draw back the fibres I don't need depending on how long you want them but just two small eyes onto the wing, sides of the wing I come in with two or three turns see where they're sitting, that one's quite straight so at this point I can actually what I can do is just pull the feather down and lift the eye up see how it's going to sit it's sitting a wee bit higher now and once you're happy you can tighten up this one's ok as you can see now you can fold these back and basically make them really secure now holding the thread tight I can break these away then what I did just to finish this fly off and I wanted to darken it down a wee bit I've got some black this is ice dub it's got a slight UV in mixed through it just to put in the front and uh, this really shows well in the water especially as it's close to the surface you'll see the colour showing through just form a nice kind of head with it Take your thread through, get to the eye, two or three turns to hold, 
then anything going forward just make sure you don't catch it do a nice three or four turns quick finish and there we are and you see how it looks just going to lift up a wee bit, it does flatten it a wee bit if you tie over it and there we are that's the pattern anyway so that was the one of the original flies and then tiny bit of varnish all the way around and that there's your, your car and dabbler